featuring Kashi. She was here last week. If you missed that, make sure you check it on our YouTube channel. That is at Y254 channel. As simple as that. And Michelle Ashira and in studio. But before that, I thank Barry for that lovely interview by Damwe Amashija. Again, if you need to check that out, it's at our YouTube channel, Y254 channel. As simple as that. So in studio, we have self-proclaimed king pull up yeah, the trap king, king. Of the trap king doing <laughs> all vernacular languages in form of good hip hop music trap king, trap trap music okay so he'll be telling us about his musical journey and what's it all about him trying to find a lady known as shiro kubole <laughs> yeah. thank you for coming thank you thank you so you're doing trap Music yeah, I'm a trap, I'm in a, vernacular language. Oh, let me introduce myself. All right. Yo, my name is Kobole. Okay. I'm a self-proclaimed the king of Kikuyu rap. Mm. Like I'm the that guy when you need Kikuyu rap, vernacular rap. I'm that guy. Yeah, that's me. That's what's up. Yeah. All right. So you're doing vernacular trap music. So that means you can just go broader than Kikuyu language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can try and mix with some languages. I've done with guys who are doing in Luya, Kambas. Mm -hmm. So we're versatile. We're everywhere. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Okay, so what is your ideology? I know this has to be the idea about mm -hmm. you trying to create a niche for yourself in yeah. the music scene. Just speaking about uh, your story through vernacular languages, yeah. was that it? Um, uh, there's something additional to that? There's something additional to that. Mm -hmm. Like, we have to celebrate our own, where we came from. Like mm -hmm. me, I'm proud Kikuyu, mm -hmm. you know, and I don't hate somebody else because he's Luya or Lu or anything. So if I, I love my language first. So why rap in English and Kiswahili? I have my mother tongue with mm. me. I yeah. love that. You're appreciating your language yeah. uh, in terms of your mother tongue, vernacular language. Yeah. So did this uh, story, a trap music, did it start, when did it start? Uh, it, it started like um, three years now because Shiro is my second song mm -hmm. in my album. It's called New Testament because uh -huh. it's like a new page from where Kam Kamaro, Joseph Kamaro left it. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm there to of the art. Uh, Kamaro was doing more of, a, 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 is it a version or genre known as Mugide? Yeah. But yours is why different of You me. know, mine is what different is, uh -huh. because I want to appear to this younger young generation. generation yes. yeah, yeah. And my question was to go to what is your, how is the reception? Not only just for the team millennials and the new generation and yeah. the younger generation. What is the, the reception like for people who, you, you know, vernacular languages yeah. appreciate their Mohivi and just yeah, true, kind of true, vibe. True, true, so true, what true. what is the reception like? For the first few months when I was trying this, it was very hard because even me, I didn't have that confidence like Nezenda Nikibonga Kikuyu Kwamta and Nini because I'm I'm born here in Nairobi. Mm -hmm. Is that that I decided to go and look for Kwenye mm. Tumetoka. Yeah, yeah. That's Let's take it back a few steps back and that is on Kobole. Yeah. Why did you go by the artistic name as Kobole? Kobole. Mm. Uh, Kobole it means five. Mm -hmm. So I don't think it's because of my five senses, but Sita Wadanganya, it came from my grandmother. Your grandmother? Yeah, she gave me the name, mm -hmm. R.I.P. Shosh, R.I.P. Kantai, yeah. That's yeah. yes, true. Yeah. So it came from your grandma, Kubole. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's a very unique name because at first I was like, Kubole, the five shillings, and then... Anyway, so let's go back to your music. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, go my karaga kayole, like the <laughs> devil lives in kayole, 1960. <laughs> Explain what would you say, because nyeri nema means nyeri is heaven. Yeah, 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 for me, because uh -huh. when I die, that's that's the only place I know I'll go. Uh -huh. Yeah, heaven and hell, those are places that I'm told, but for sure I know I'll go to nyeri. What would you say? <laughs> what would you compare <laughs> Nyeri County to Heaven. a heavenly place? Yeah, just look at the way things go there. Like we fought for this freedom for you guys, you know, Akina Kemadi and all <laughs> those people. Alto Kanyeri, Wangari Madai, like there is even Nyada. Nyada is she's like an angel after Mary, I believe she's there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the one who stated that it's Kobole. I did say that in Nyeri we have legends coming from there, but yeah, yeah. I believe in every county we it was when it 
t speaking about the freedom uh, fighters, yes. they came from different counties, not just Nyeri. But again, but I Kobole Amisema, Kobole, the king of <laughs> the self-proclaimed uh, king of trap, Kobole, he's yeah. the one who's stating that. So you're talking about your journey in music as in a, music. a, a yeah, vernacular, yeah. Uh, using vernacular language, and you've talked of being three years in the game. Yeah, yeah. See, what is the theme of Shiro? Shiro, the new like uh, I'm in a club. Mm -hmm. And I'm with my guys when you see you and I every time, every Friday, every Thursday, mm -hmm. at a club. Mm -hmm. And I let them mu patane. There's this chick that every time I come to this club, I might mm -hmm. I might see her. I'm a many Peters, Jamona, but easy kusa ndio na tafuta. So na ambia madem wengine like you have to excuse me. Mm -hmm. I'm looking for this chick. She wrote. She wrote. I'm in murder. She wrote. Okay. So for people who don't understand vernacular language, mm -hmm. how will it? How will the message pass across? How will they vibe to your music Yo, and yet like, they don't understand? <laughs> I flow. Yeah. I flow. Okay. Uh, flow. When you flow in music, mm. in music there are three things. Mm. There is heart, music for the head, and mm. music for the feet. Mm -hmm. So I try to combine all three of them, mm -hmm. but sana sana ukishindwa kuingia ya head you ski luga mm. for the feet and for the heart I'll do that. That is true because most people very much guilty we jump to motibana by uh <laughs> what is his name lamide L o lamide, lamide yeah. yes and we do not understand what it means but true, true, true. we equally jump to that song he's one of the guys who inspired me mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. okay so let's look at adomaine adomaine yeah which, it's a jump that actually acquired <laughs> very numerous views okay, which true. is 5.5k in terms of when you look at your uh, musical scene and true. other projects that you've done true, true. what was the i love the video aspect it incorporated just ordinary people in Ordin the video true, true, and true. people just jump into the song and everything else what was the experience like like to produce this project a domain has opened many doors for me like it's been uh, it's been great for that song has done many things for me like it gave me opportunity to work more with my producer Haka get that belief na mimi like i can rap unajua like your flow everything i don't mind it's that song yeah mm. yeah so the reception has been nice yeah it's been nice okay so so far we're talking about the issue of media and uh, the artist in kenya yeah. we know that we understand that we are playing kenya music so True. far and we're still consistently doing that courtesy of dj rages yeah, mr yeah, good yeah, vibes yeah. on the decks yeah. but there's the ideology as the the death of Kantai recently yeah, true, yesterday true, 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 yeah. and uh, Calligraph Jones has raised an issue about the fact that media is just looking at the negative aspect of Kantai's lifestyle which is the fact that the allegations that he the alcoholism Alcohol, he was addicted yeah, true, true, to true, drugs true. Yeah. and uh, the fact that we're just looking into that and not looking into the artistic aspect and what he used what he has done for the for the hip-hop music yeah, so, yeah, so yeah, what will, what, will, what will be your take in terms of the media in looking and giving opportunity for the artist? My problem with the media is that when they say he was taking too much alcohol or something, where were they when he was taking that alcohol? Mm -hmm. uh, I wish they, the they could have done something, mm -hmm. you know, like he's our legend, yeah. All right, so far, so good to mend a shiro and all about that. Yeah. Probably you can speed some line after this, but Ningependa Pi won't be out in Yumbani if you don't have to do it. Yo, 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 ni kila mali na patikana kama kubole Kenya. Instagram, kubole Kenya, Facebook, kubole Kenya, Twitter, mm -hmm. IG, kila mali ni kubole Kenya. Okay, you can speak some shiro, but before mm. that, we have some feedback on our Facebook handle. And uh, let me see, just in a second. Yes, we have uh, that is Mtaliano wa Gigi. May he rest in uh, may, may he rest in peace. Uh, he's referring to uh, can, the artist that we just mentioned that he just passed away. And we have rest in eternal peace. Just uh, some condolences going right for. <sighs> our hip hop legend and we are very saddened for on his death and we wish uh, that the family members may take at heart and during this you know struggling moment because you're losing a loved one it's never that easy yeah, yeah. so which song are you going to jump for us uh, let me do the shiro because mm -hmm. I want people to subscribe to my 